Okay, we're today is Tuesday, December 12, 2023. It's just 4.03 p.m. And this is a special meeting of the Marquette Township Board. If you want to do roll call, Randy. Yeah, Trustee Winslow is excused and absent. Trustee Kitta? Here. Trustee Everson? Here. Trustee Marks? Present. Treasurer Johnson? Here. Clerk Retire is here and Supervisor Durant? Here. Okay no emails i'm guessing other than the one from the state yeah but that's not public comment okay so. all right so let's just approve the agenda i'll move to approve the agenda as presented support all in favor aye opposed thank you okay policy discussion today is to consider a resolution to establish polling place for charter township of marquette this is Randy's. Okay, so I just got approval from the state of Michigan as uh, about 10 minutes ago for approval of consolidating precincts uh, two, one and two into one. So the next option is um, we had a uh, election commission meeting yesterday. They approved the consolidation of the precincts. So then I sent it to the state. They have approved it. Now the township board's role is we have to establish the polling place, the central polling place for all future elections in the township. So this is what the resolution is uh, in front of you today to do that. That means everything will be in this building? Yes, everything from here forward from now will be in this building. As long as they're underneath the, the count. Yes, as long as Precinct 1 does not exceed 5,000 voters, everything will be here. So I looked, I was telling Supervisor Durant, I just looked at our latest registered voters. We're at 3,700. So I have 1,300 more to go before we'd have to force a split. And I don't think that's going to happen within my tenure here. So we're good. Move to accept the resolution. Support. Okay. okay, so you are even, okay, so you approach the state for consolidation, but you were talking just a minute ago about abandoning the first one. Yeah, so it's abolishment. This, what this resolution is gonna do is gonna abolish St. Christopher's Church as a polling place. And what it will do is it'll, um, this site was all, always a polling place for precinct two. So by establishing it, it will be a polling place for the new precinct one, which is one and two combined. So okay. I don't want to confuse folks, but it's and what we will do is the requirement of what we're doing today is for February, um, I'm going to have to put signs at the church stating that if you voted here in all previous elections, you will now vote at the township hall. So if the, and it, luckily it's only three or four blocks away. So it'll take, it might be a while before folks get used to it, but uh, over time they will. And they're gonna get notified um, by a new voter card. They're gonna, this will require a new voter card, registration card, and we'll do a media blitz on our calendars and such in probably December and January, so. Would it be worthwhile on the Billings that we send out the first of January. Yeah, we'll that's work on that too. That's what I mean. We'll do it on the back of our calendars. Okay. Okay. Sounds it, good. Do it. Roll call on. What was um? What was the what was it costing us for the church? It was three hundred dollars a day, which isn't horrible, but um, but we had a lot of other costs because we had to move everything over there. Um, I had to have two sets of ballots. I had to have I had to have double of everything: two crews, two ballot, two sets of ballots, two computers. So now that'll bring everything to one site, which will d reduce my cost. So, which will be great because I don't think I'll end up using the, my whole budget for this. Saving issue. time and money. Yeah, we'll save time because we won't have to move everything to the church any longer. And I'll I'll need well I don't want to cut staff, but I'll I can. Uh, reduce the hours of staff because I'm not going to need that extra set over there. So, 
And what the advantage is, is myself and Kim are all in one site. So if there's a problem, they can just come down and get me. I'm not split, so. Good. Okay, so yeah, roll have, call vote. Yep, yeah, we have. Okay, Trustee Kidda. Yes. Trustee Marks. Yes. Trustee Everson. Yes. Treasurer Johnson. Yes. Secretary is yes, and Supervisor Duran. Yes. Motion carries six zero and one absent. Okay. So we have no public comment. Any announcements? Anything anybody wants to share right now? Please. Only thing I just want to announce is from here on, you know, I'll have um, the voter applications for presidential are going to go out soon. So I'm just happy this is getting done now so we can do a media blitz from here on out that will educate the people that they will all be voting here now, so. Which I think is really great. Well, you know, and the thing I looked at, like we had a event in the facility last week. We had over 100, 100 maybe 150 people here. We had plenty of parking yeah. and the facility can handle it now. So that, that's where we should be. Where will the absentee ballots be? In this room, maybe, or or that? Um, it'll either be in this room or it'll be in the new conference room. I probably prefer it in the new conference room because it's locked. Yeah. So. And what I was thinking, if I change the the um, the layout of that room a little bit, where if the voters come in this entrance and exit there, if it's bad weather, they can even. If a line forms, they can back into this room, so no one's going to be standing in bad weather. So we'll have this room they could sit in if they, you know. So there should not be a line that goes outside. There was never a line when I was on that at all. There was we weren't waiting years for ago. all. They come in and years ago when we had one precinct at the town Chapaw, the line went out to the road. Oh, yeah, I know that. yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> that was, that was I stood at the end of that line <laughs> one night. <laughs> And further on, the reason why we can do this is half the townships are voting by absentee now. I have 1,300 that are on the permanent AV list. Um, we're going to have nine days of early voting, which, um, so if, you know, the residents want to get in here early, they can vote and be done with it. So even if I, if I get two or 300 people that do early voting, it's just going to shave the number down on election day, which, you know, which is better, so. Everything has been really well handled too, I think. Well, I just think moving forward, this will be more efficient for the operation and whoever my predecessor is someday, will probably be happy that it's all here, not spread around, you know. Unless we're up to 5,000 by then, because you're gonna be here for a long time. Well, so. you never know, but if we get to 5,000, then we'll make our decisions then, so. But I think that's, you know, if we get to beyond 5,000, I can always split and use this room as a precinct too. So I think we'll be here for at least, you know, the next 10 or 20 years, which will be good. I'm not gonna worry about that. No, <laughs> probably me either. Probably I'll be long either. gone by then, but. Okay, um, we only have two motions. To yeah, so the motions review were to approve the agenda as presented and that was approved and the second motion was to approve the resolution to establish the polling place for the Charter Township of Marquette and that was approved and that's it. Mm -hmm. Any comments from anybody? The only comment I have is I'll be investing some township money in CDs tomorrow or for Friday and that. I couldn't get the rate I wanted at Nicolay, so I cashed it out and I moved it over to another bank. And that took so. From the first bank? Over the first bank. That took so. Yeah. You got, you got the paperwork. I got the paperwork. I got the check. I just, I got to go over it tomorrow and do that. Is Andrew going with you or does he have to? No, he doesn't have to. Nah. So one of the policies that we're going to put together when we do have our policy work session is to have that form when Roger gets finished with the financial stuff that okay. says the treasurer has you know um, authority to do this and we can put the names and that you can just take it to the banks yeah because I had we'll have it set up I had to write a little memo and Lynn had to sign it that I I have the authority and a de deputy have authority to to invest township funds 
and that. So we get that taken care of. That's going to suffice it for what we got going yeah. in that too. But so. that way they can all have a copy of it too as soon yeah. as it's done. So that'll be next year. I'm not far off. Yes, sir. You come in late. Now you're going to make I, a motion. I, I, late. I have one final motion that I'd like to make, and okay. that we adjourn. I'll support. All Thank right. you. Support. For 14, it just ticked over. We are adjourned. Did you leave your vehicle running so it didn't get cold? <laughs> <laughs>